Hi, I'm Amber from Ultimate Body Pilates. Today we're going to do a quick, about 15 minutes, uh, long lean legs focus. You can use a small band like this. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother, but you can use it, place it, step inside of it, place it around your legs. Or what's also nice is ankle weights if you have. Let's get started. On all fours, on your knees, take a deep breath in. And then lift up your tummy as you exhale, tuck your toes under and lift your knees up. Scoop up in that tummy. Hold. Lower down, don't collapse your ribs. Slowly down. Just getting a bit of deep activation, waking up the tummy. Again, relax your shoulders away. Just hover your knees as little as you can, keeping a really flat back. And come down. Excellent. Now we're going to lengthen out your right leg. Stretch it out away. Nice and strong. Hands still under your shoulders. Pull up into that tummy. Leg lifts and lower. Think about where the move is coming from. Isolate into your core, into your bum, and reach that heel as far away from you as you can. So really working the strength and the stretch straight away so that we make sure we're targeting our nice long legs. Hold it out there now. Squeeze. Can you take the opposite arm out and round in? Opposite elbow to knee and stretch. Hold out that tummy and in. And stretch. Two more. Last one. Hold it up, move your hand down, pulses, pulses, lift up from the back of your seat, in your sitting bone, four, three, two, hold it up, circles, four each direction, and release, nice long leg hamstring curl, keep your knee up in line with your hips, squeeze the heel out, and exhale, squeeze it out, four, three, two, hold it up and pulse it, squeeze it, squeeze it, six, five, four, three, two, and one, excellent job, changing sides, readjust your positioning, Toes slide out along the floor. Scoop up in your tummy so you don't feel the lower back. Make sure you're using your tummy and your seat. And we're just going down and up. Focusing on where the movement's coming from. Excellent. Exhale. Less is more. We don't need to do high repetitions if we're doing things properly. So really, it's a nice idea to feel yourself so you can see your form. Make sure that you're working your control inside your body. Opposite arm to leg now. Stretch out one. Can we round in like a big cat? And then stretch out. And then round in. And stretch out. Keep going, just a couple more. Lengthen, how long can you get? Pull your hand out of your leg. Take your hand down and pulse it. From your sit bone, pull up in your tummy. Four, three, two, one hand straight go. In, squeeze out. In, squeeze out. Four more. Holding tight. Can we hold the foot up and pulse it? Squeeze on your bum. Four more. And release, tuck your toes up, come to your up stretch, your downward dog. Try and get those heels down, pad out your feet, reworking that leg then. We're going to go over some of my old favorites, which is side line. Because in side line, we can really work that length of the leg. Rather than doing all the booty stuff that's popular now, which is also great, we don't really kind of 
in the shortest muscles. We're looking at nice little muscles. So can we lengthen out in both legs and pull up on your underside waist, hand, elbow, shoulder, and one leg, lift it up nice and long, and just lift that top leg. It's a nice idea now if you have your band or ankle weight, you will feel this more. We want to work on keeping length in the body. So I'm trying to reach and move over this way. So you can see me get clearer, hopefully. You want to reach your toes out long, rather than taking it super high. Warm up, find the length first, and I'm keeping my hip long and not shorting and collapsing. Pull it up. If this is too difficult, if you feel that you collapse, then lie down on your side. Hold it up there now. Circle. Four. Three. Two. And one. And reverse. Two. One. Now we're going to do some nice lying down that side work. Okay, we're going to bend. You're going to slide the toes on the inside of your thigh as hard as you can. Reach your knee towards your shoulder. Lengthen the leg up and lower it down. But try not to collapse your underside weight. So the leg slides up, straighten, and lengthen. I'm keeping a little bit of air, so I'm not collapsing on that side waist. Knee to shoulder, up. Starting slow, we're going to start to increase the pace now. Up, lengthen, down. In, up, down. So we're going to get some warmth into the legs now. One more. Reverse it. Knee to shoulder, slide it down. And up. Knee to shoulder, slide it down. Keep it up. Try to keep your core tight. Down. Slide. Up. Two more. We're going to go into rhythm kicks. Last one. Let's go down and up. Lift it up. Over the way my Cadillac here. Keep that control. Reach out of your toe. Let's point and flex down. Point, flex. Work that control in the back of your leg. We don't want bulky legs, so we need to get that flex to get that posterior chain turned on. Four more. Three, two, one. Excellent. Give that leg a stretch. Stretch that leg. Nice work. So you're on your right side. Your right leg is up. We're going to go straight over onto our back. So I'm going to have to shuffle down. So I don't burn into the camera. So you lift the other same leg we just worked. We're going to do some PMA stretching now to really improve that flexibility and length in the leg. Hold back behind your kneecap and draw that leg in. Push your leg against your hands. Count for five. PMA stretch. Push and pull. Four, reach the heel up higher. Three, pull your hips down, make sure you're anchored in your pelvis. And relax into the chair. Let's see if you can pull that leg a bit further. Then from there, take, interlace your hands again, flex it, lengthen down through both waistlines, reach the heel up, let's go for five, for four, for three, for two, and relax. Give it another stretch, Ooh, getting a bit more flexible. Last time, let's make it your best one. Interlace the fingers, reach the heel and foot up. Make sure your hip bones are down, and let's pull. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job, straight into single leg circles. So flex your left foot, cross it over the body, small to begin. Up and around. Check your hips. Can you keep stable? If you can, you make your circles bigger. Not many. I'm in a nice turn up position. Reverse. I only want about four or five in each direction, keeping that core locked in. Hip bones still. Still on the right side. Come back up. Side stretch. One hand under your shoulder. Come down to your elbow with your knee. Hold your hand behind your head. Press your hips forward. Lift your top leg up in line with your hip. And exhale. 
Lengthen it back. Exhale. Lengthen it back. Exhale. Find the length. Find the left. Hold that tummy in. Hold it back here. Reach your arm on the diagonal. Pulse it up. 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 Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice work. Bring that knee in. Good job. Now we're going to do the other side. If I can remember all that. So come on to your side. If I can just find you. So elbow under your shoulder. Legs are straight out. Hips are stacked. Feet slightly forward of your eye line. Lift and lengthen that top leg. We're trying to find the leg length first. Reach that foot away. No collapsing in your waist. Pull up if you're unsure. No collapsing in your shoulders. Come on, stay up, stay lifted, stay strong. Hold it up here now. Pull up into that core. Bottom leg lifts up. Four, three, two. Hold it up there. Squeeze it up there tight. Breathe. And release. You're going to come down to sideline now. You're going to bend that toes all the way along your leg, knee to shoulder, stretch it up, we've got space here, and come down, reaching. Keep those hips stacked. So we slide up towards the shoulder, up slowly, reach long out of that leg, and come down. Start to find your rhythm a little bit faster now. In, up, down, in, up, down. Two new attachments here. Four more. Three more. Two more. Can you reverse that knee to shoulder? Scoop out your tummy. Keep your hips stacked. And then knee to shoulder. Scoop it out. Reverse again. Two more. Now we've got those nice little bit here to so between my legs. Up and down. Okay, so go fast. Squeeze down, squeeze, point, flex, point, flex, stay stable, reach out of your hip, long, four, three, two, one, that leg should be nice and warm, roll straight onto your back, pin left time on the left leg, hold onto the back of your leg, flex your other foot back, breathe and give a nice stretch. So we're squeezing the hand against the thigh, thigh against the uh, hand for count of five. Let's go. Five, four, three. Push and pull as hard as you can. Release, stretch it towards you. Let the leg relax. Then tense everything up. Reach the heel up further. Lengthen that hip down. Let's go for five, four, three. Two, one, Ooh, relax, stretch it. Last time, make it your best one. Come on, squeeze it in a little bit further. Let's go for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Excellent. Single leg circles now, cross it over your body, stabilize the hip up and around. Really important, no movement, final leg. Go bigger if you can stay stable. Reverse. Try to minimize that movement. So maybe taking it really slow, but working that leg. Last one. Excellent job. Roll back to your side. Come up now. This is your side kick. Reach up. Left leg down. One hand down on your shoulder. Left leg behind. We're going to have to move up to you. <laughs> Reach your leg up in line with your hip. Push your leg back. We go for two. Stretch back. And again. Stretch back. Stay tall. Stretch back. Two more. Hold it there. Reach your arm up. Pulse it up. Up. Squeeze up. Find that length. Four. Three. Two and circle back. Circle. And circle forwards. Good job. Sit back down. 
Get your breath back for a second. That's right. Lie onto your um, coming back. Sorry, onto your all four position. So go from side line to quadruped. Now, okay, same thing. You're going to repeat that. So I'm going to leave you there, but I want you to do two more rounds of what we just did. 